I've devoted a massive portion of my life to comedy. Watching it, reading it, watching documentaries about it, reading books about it, listening to podcasts about it, writing it, performing it, rewriting it, watching other people do it live, taking photos of people doing it, helping other people write it during joke workshops, daydreaming about it, uh, thinking about it in the shower, out on walks. Should I have done something else with my life? Uh, should I be doing something else right now with my life other than making a video about comedy? <laughs> aren't, there, uh, aren't there larger problems to be solved? The trouble is you don't really get to pick what you're drawn to you know, or what you're good at. I've tried, I've tried, uh, I've tried to be different. Um, it's very painful, it's very painful to try to be someone you aren't. You don't get to pick who you are, right? You, you have a nature to you. You know, you can make adjustments, right? But there are certain fundamentals about you that can only bend so far. And uh, I don't know, in a way, it does seem terribly selfish, narcissistic. <laughs> you know, that's the part of me I can't bend. You know, the idea of forcing people to listen to you with a microphone. Like, what a strange, strange torture to inflict on other people, you know? Look at me, listen to me, I'm important. Sit down, shut up. Okay, you can laugh, that's the one sound you can make. The sound that makes you like me the most amount possible, that's what you can do. Spontaneous laughter and praise of my artistic genius. I will permit you to do that. Clap if you would like. You know, that would also be acceptable here in my realm. <laughs> Ridiculous. Why do I enjoy comedy so much? Uh, I'm, I'm much more comfortable with shame than other people seem to be. Uh, I don't get embarrassed easily. Uh, look at me making this video right now about this obscure topic. Like, apparently that's also a characteristic of psychopathy, you know? But it will help if, if you want to do stand-up, you know? You're gonna do lots of embarrassing things or things that other people would consider embarrassing, you know, as a comic. I think a comic has to embrace embarrassment, which, you know, can be selfish if done poorly, right? Just getting on stage and behaving in an embarrassing way, like in a shameless way, if there's nothing redeeming in it, if there's no deeper comic insight for the audience to appreciate, then yeah, you kind of come across as a big a-hole who's wasting everybody's time, you know?